What's going on guys? My name is Ben. How are you guys doing today? And you guys remember uh, back in my videos a long time ago, I had the iPhone 3G, I jailbroke it, and then I got a Game Boy Advance emulator for it called GPS Phone. And I had fun with that thing back then for the time I used it because I was able to play my Game Boy Advance games on my iPhone right here. Which is great because this is what I carry every day. And if I wanted to catch a game or two of Sonic Battle or Sonic Advance, then... I'll be happy to use this one. Now, at the time, you were only able to do that if you have a jailbroken device. Well, not anymore for non-jailbroken devices. Because they were able to, whoever did this, were able to get the code from GPS phone and then make a separate application and that you can download and that you can't find in the App Store but on a website on a non-jailbroken iOS device. So, this is my iPhone 4 right here. It is not jailbroken. Same thing with my iPad Touch 5th generation. Not jailbroken. Both of these devices are on iOS 7. What I'm going to show you guys in this video is show you guys how to play Game Boy Advance games on your non-jailbroken iOS device. So, what you're going to do is you're going to go into Safari or whatever browser you're using. And you want to go to a website called Cool Rob. Alright? And Cool ROM is basically a website where you can download like ROMs uh, for your emulators, such as like a PS1 emulator, Game Boy Color emulator, Game Boy Advance emulator. Yeah, okay. There will be a link in the description below if you guys want to uh, download it. And then this is where you're going to find your emulators uh, for the iOS device. So here's the homepage of uh, CoolROM.com. Now, I'm pretty sure there's another website where you are able to get this emulator but cool ROM is one that I've used for a while so you want to go to you know, scroll down and go to emulators and you have your options right here for Android iOS jailbroken iOS non jailbroken which is Windows Phone alright so we're gonna go to non jailbroken And then here are all your emulators right here. So you have Game Boy Advance and it's called GBA4 iOS. Game Boy Color is Gear Boy. Nintendo was Nasculine. I don't know what kind of Nintendo that was. I think it was like the Super Nintendo. I'm not 100% sure on that. Nintendo DS, Sega Genesis, Super Nintendo. Oh, actually, eh, never mind. This is Super Nintendo. I don't know what the other Nintendo was. I have no idea. But if you want Game Boy Advance, you go to this one right here, Game Boy GBA for iOS, and then you just hit the install button, and then you're good to go. I already installed it, so I'm going to cancel out of that. So now, the application you should get is over here, GBA for iOS. Now, that's the number four, not the letter four. I mean, the word four. It's the digit number four. So you want to launch GPA for iOS after that, and then uh, you'll be greeted with this user interface, but empty. Now, why do you see Sonic Battle on there? It's because that's actually a ROM that I already downloaded. Uh, Alright, so you want to go to search right here, and all it does is it takes you to the internet. So in this case, it brings me back to Safari. You know, usually it'll be like the first few links to click on. Uh, and you can keep scrolling down if you wanted to. So... You just click on whichever link you want, and then that's where you find your games. Alright, so I already found Sonic Battle. I'm going to show you guys the process of finding a game again, uh, just so you guys can see uh, how it works. So, if I can just find the... No. Alright, I'm going to search. If this is the search button. Alright, let's go to Sonic Advance. Alright, and then there are my results right there, so I'm going to click on the first one. And then you want to uh, find a download button. So, where's the download button? My iPhone 4 is lagging iOS 7. It's actually gotten a little annoying right now. I didn't mind at first, but now it's just gotten annoying. So, I don't know why it didn't download it. But, 
uh, around this page you're su you're supposed to download it from here. Oh, maybe I'm clicking the wrong one. No, that's Google. Okay, there we go. All right, and you have your options on um, which application you want to open it in. You want to open it in GPA for iOS. All right, so you're gonna hit that, and then it'll automatically go back to that app, and then there you go. <laughs> your game is right there. All right, and then you have some cool settings set right here. So, uh, of course, in order to get back, you gotta have your menu button right here to get back to your user interface or the home screen, and then you, know, you can either save your game where you're at or load it, or you can uh, quit the game without doing any of this stuff. And then when you're changing the orientation of your device, it'll give you the landscape controls. Now, it's a little bit hard to see, but they're kind of laminated uh, or like shat shadowed into the, I don't know what's the word, but uh, the controls are clear. So now you can like start playing your game. So I'll do English right here. And then uh, I'm pretty much playing my game right now. As you can see, Game Boy Advance on your iOS device, non-jailbroken. Now, as you saw, that list <laughs> was not uh, a lot. Like, it didn't have a lot of emulators <laughs> on there. So I'm going to start with this right now before I get copyrighted. Now, please note, even though you download this as an application, does not mean that it'll save this into your iTunes library if you were to back up your device through iTunes. Now, iTunes won't even detect that it's there, but uh, you can see if you go to the Apps tab on iTunes, that GBA for iOS is right there, but iTunes does not recognize it as an app that you download from the iTunes store because this is downloaded from a website. So therefore, it will not save into your apps page in iTunes. However, that doesn't mean that iTunes can't be integrated into GBA for iOS because you can actually download the games on your computer and then sync your device through iTunes and then you can transfer your stuff from there. So I just wanted to point that out before my battery on this camera dies. But uh, that's it. So what do you guys think uh, about this emulator? Do you like it? Hate it? Do you think it was a, a waste of time? Or do you uh, rather get it when you're jailbroken so that way you can do extra stuff? I'm just showing this video for the people who don't want to jailbreak and who find it it's not really necessary to have. And therefore won't jailbreak. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.